And now, backstage with Steve Rizzo. You know, anyone can tell you that the key to living a happy, successful life is having a positive attitude, especially during adverse times. I know that sometimes there just isn't enough justification for all of the unfortunate things that happen to us. But I also know that we all have what it takes to deal with misfortune when it, when it occurs. I mean, this is what acquiring a positive attitude is all about. It's about fortifying yourself with a fight with a very real enemy. That's your own negativity. I know this. I have to fight it almost every day sometimes. I know this is much easier said than done. And I know that sometimes it seems impossible to stand tall and be positive when it feels like your world is falling apart and you've run out of saviors. Yet this is something that can be achieved. And it's an attitude that's worth acquiring, keeping sharp. I mean, who knows? Think about it. Your life may depend on it someday. I think the thing is, is that the word positive really seems to frustrate a lot of people. I mean, I hear people all say, well, how do you expect me to be positive when nothing is going right in my life? Or it's easy for you to be positive. You didn't lose someone that you love. You're blessed. You have everything you want. You didn't lose your job. Well, maybe, just maybe, we need to consider a more realistic interpretation of what it means to be positive. In my view, being positive isn't always a Disney movie. I've learned that being positive isn't always about feeling good. Oddly, it's healthy to feel bad sometimes. I mean, think about it. That means that you're not a robot. Are you following me? And being positive doesn't mean we never make mistakes. Really. I mean, true positivism is knowing that we learn from making these mistakes and we move forward with an optimism that we are better people and, and, and having made them richer and deeper and more resilient than before. Being positive doesn't mean that we should always smile and have a happy, jovial face walking around laughing all the time. Give me a break. It's knowing that sometimes it's okay to cry. It's okay to mourn and, and to feel sad. You don't always have to be in control of your emotions. And sometimes, just sometimes, it's okay to be angry and lose your temper. Don't worry. Your positivity license won't be evoked. Evoked. Cut, cut, Rizzo. Please get this right. Seriously. Like, how many takes are we going to do? What, was that 10? 10 takes. Great. Please help me out. I am trying to stay positive here. I am <laughs> really trying. Okay? Okay. Get it right. Okay. Last time. Okay. 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 Got it. Your positivity license won't be revoked. You see, people who are generally positive have problems just like everyone else. What separates the chronically positive from everyone else is that they know that their problems are simply part of the process of life. And after and sometimes during a crisis, positive people respond to have this mechanism that they have inside of them that enables them to pay attention to parts of their lives that don't make them want to spontaneously burst into tears in the middle of the produce aisle. They find a way to shift their perspective and hold on to the only things that bring them joy. This is a quality that keeps them from being victimized. Pain is unavoidable, I get that. But to a person with a positive attitude, that's all it is, it's just pain. It's simple, temporary, and often unaccompanied by doubt and comparisons from past experiences. Positive people instinctively know that adversity is necessary in order for them to grow. We are here on this wonderful planet to experience, to learn, to grow, and to become the person we're meant to become. It can't be stressed enough that the filter through which we view experience ultimately determines who we become. And how we choose to experience what happens to us, be it good or bad, will determine what we learn. And what we learn eventually determines how we grow. And this, is, this continued growth is what shapes who and what we become. If we can comprehend this, it will help free us from feeling victimized when times are tough. And just maybe, maybe help you to compare a challenging situation with a pop quiz, Life 101, rather than, say, the apocalypse.